Now we're going to add oxygen to the making water from fire experiment. Remember the fire triangle, heat, oxygen, and fuel. Sometimes I call them Dr. Hoff. Take away any one of those and the fire goes out. Add more fuel or heat or oxygen, the fire can get bigger. This is going to be like a little rocket. What we need to add is our fuel. So we add a little bit of the alcohol. And remember, we want to have the alcohol vapor. And you can ask the kids, what's more dangerous, a full bottle of alcohol or an empty bottle? Or in their garage, an empty bottle of paint thinner or a full one? Or in their car, an empty tank of gas or a full tank of gas? Well, it turns out the empty one is way more dangerous because there's a lot more oxygen in there to inspire combustion. When it's full, the match might even just go out. What we're going to do is have just the alcohol vapor, and now I'm going to actually add the yeast and the peroxide too. Remember, alcohol vapor, I'm going to add the yeast right down in the center, and the hydrogen peroxide right down in the center. So it's still full of alcohol vapor, and now it's going to be full of oxygen too. What do you think is going to happen now? Well, if you let it boil up a little bit, you're going to be surprised to find out that the oxygen is going to create a very serious chemical reaction with that fuel. So let's get our burning splint ready to go. Remember, hold it off to the side. Always hold it above eye level because this one actually goes pretty fast and you will find that it burns a lot more vigorously than just the pure alcohol. One, two, three. Seriously. And that is the alcohol flamethrower.